What's up everybody? What's up? Welcome to the new Rock on Vlog. You don't hear Dominic because I have the mic here. What's up everyone? What's up? What's up? So we have a new vlog. It's a beautiful day, but not only this, it's a very exciting day. It's my 790 Duke and this bike gonna rest today. Actually, I have a really nice update here. What do you say guys? Really nice race front light. We have a brand new bike i have been waiting i knew that i'm gonna get that bike because of corona that bike was stuck in spain so i needed to wait for it for about three months and now it's here so let's see are you ready boys you can drop it yes i see it three two one and it's here the brand new ktm duke 890r the super scalpel boom That smell of a brand new fresh bike that's the best feeling ever and yeah i'm so happy to finally have that bike that white color i love it it sticks out so i'm thinking maybe to update my 790 with the white plastics so it pops out more on the pictures and on the videos and yeah today's plan what we have is i want to walk you through the bike show you what's the new technology compared to the 790 then we're gonna go to the racetrack to test it to check if everything is true that KTM says it looks like it is but we need to test it right and we're gonna try to beat the lap time so it has more power than my RC390 which means it should beat the time yeah power is not everything on that track since it's a very compact and small track so let's see if it can beat the time and yeah it's bone stock the only thing that we change is the tail tidy the long uh, stock one we change it with the buggerish performance tail tidy performance get your parts at bagarocheperformance.com it looks more sexy i know right so uh yeah that's it let me walk you through the bike let's start with the engine it has 890 cc more than the 790 of course and it has even more power 121 horsepower parallel twin of course and it has 99 newton meters of torque which means that it really pulls through all gears in low rpm what is even more interesting it's a bit more technical it has a new crankshaft that has 20 percent more rotational mass and it has also new throttle bodies and this combination makes the bike just chug along and you can really move slowly through the traffic and smooth rotational mass is important at trial bike so you can really move slow and balance and then from zero you can really jump on the rock so this is because of the nice rotational mass that the trial bikes has and of course transmission and yeah this bike has a better rotational mass than the 790 so let's continue to the next thing next thing that sticks out is the new upgraded wp apex suspension it's adjustable this time so the front forks have a compression and rebound adjustable and the rear shock has a adjustable low and high speed compression and rebound and hydraulic adjustable preload and one more thing guys suspension is not a styling part it's a performance part what i want to tell you is take the full advantage of it 
If you have adjustable suspension, adjust it to your weight and your needs, it will really truly change how you feel the bike. You will have more grip in the corners, you will have more feeling, more. you will trust your bike way, way more than if you don't do that. Do it, it will be worth it. And I'm just seeing too many guys buying expensive bikes with high-tech suspension and not take advantage of it. I learned that on myself two years ago and since then I'm really always focusing to adjust it first before I go to ride with a new bike and it makes the whole big 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 difference. Okay, let's move to the next feature. The geometry of the bike is now improved so the handlebar is now lower and flatter and then the foot pegs are more further back and higher which results that your whole body is more on position more on the front, which means more grip and more feel for the front tire. That's super important when you ride aggressively, so the whole body position is now more sportier. The brakes grew way, way bigger. From 300 millimeters that are on the 790, the 890 has now 320 millimeter. Not only the disc, it has also upgraded Brembo package for the front calipers and the front brake master. I also got the info that the one disc has 400 grams less weight. And if we calculate the whole thing, the both disc and both brake calipers has 1.2 rotational mass reduction, which is super important when you try to twist and turn on the racetrack you really feel that weight saving so the brake setup looks promising so i cannot wait to test it on the racetrack let's continue with the next feature so the 890 comes with a lot of cool technology similar to the 790 which makes you faster and also safer on the road so for example what i really like is the riding modes you have different ones so you have sport street rain and track example you're on the track and i can also adjust the throttle response track sport and street and if we go back to the dashboard now you see in the right corner uh, slip one which means that we are now almost without the traction control almost and you can go up to the nine and that's like uh, rain mode so what is also cool that you can adjust your traction control while you're riding. The next feature that makes you safer and also faster on the road or the racetrack is the ABS mode. The road ABS mode you're gonna use on the road because you never know what the surface is gonna be like and it's much safer so I recommend you to use the road mode. And if you go to a racetrack of course use the supermoto mode and this will make you much faster. Another cool update is the new anti-wheelie system that allows you that you pick your front wheel up up to the 7 degrees and while you are in the air you can even shift through the gears which is uh, an updated version of the anti-wheelie. It doesn't close down your throttle and you can just keep going and keep holding that throttle and that makes you way faster. Dominic, do you remember the Supermoto vlog that we did? Yes, <laughs> the, our most viral vlog that we did until now, I think it's around 16 million views. That's huge, right? Why I'm mentioning the supermoto mode is because I really thought it's for sliding around and stuff like that. But the KTM guys explain me it's not only for that, but it's actually meant for braking later. Imagine you are at the full speed coming to the first corner and you need to really to break down and you want to break as late as possible. In most of the time, you don't really feel that the rear wheel is up in the air but it's actually it is you don't feel it so in that case the abs doesn't interfere with the front wheel makes the braking much much later and you can be much much aggressively on the front brake but it still gives you the abs safety example you catch a wet spot on the racetrack and then the abs switches back again and helps you to try to not to crash so it's a really next level technology which i didn't know about it so now I know it and actually I want to try it out this late braking stuff let's go to the next feature the 890R comes also with a quick shifter and I started to learn about that when I started to ride bigger KTM bikes and honestly said <laughs> I still have some problems with that system because I'm very used to or applying the clutch when I want to switch the gears or lower the gas and I told that problem to the KTM engineers and they told me that that's wrong how I should do it is actually keep the throttle and then apply the quick shifter without releasing the 
throttle or applying the clutch so keep the throttle open and then switch to the gears that's the right way to do it now i know it and we will see soon if this works so guys those are my favorite features on some i went more deep because i really found the information cool and informative and of course this bike has many more features and for that ktm did a really cool uh, youtube video with a deep review and you can find the link in the description below go watch it it's really really interesting and i would say for that's enough of talking now it's time we load that bike and we go to the racetrack let's go okay ready <laughs> oh my god i'm getting super nervous i don't know why maybe because i have like i don't know 80 horsepower more under my ass if i compare it to the duke 390 okay today we have some traffic on the racetrack but before we go let's switch the ride mode so we are now on the street and i'm gonna go to the track i have the anti-wheelie mode on throttle response on track uh, launch control is off i don't need that now abs is on the road so i'm gonna go to the super moto so i can brake later that's on quick shifter is on okay everything is set so okay let's warm up the tires and brakes and then let's go full throttle brakes are biting already okay oh. yeah that's a lot more power than my 390 man that quick shifter makes so much fun it's so easy to shift and no need to touch the clutch okay acceleration quick shifter Woo -hoo! 182 man can we do 190 man i i was breaking too late so what i feel that it's really easy to throw the bike left and right it's like it really asks that it wants to go into the corner really sharp so the name the super scarpel it's a proper name for that bike and we already adjusted my suspension so it's much harder now and for my weight and it's really like this last corner it's really really stable on the on that one and the acceleration it's crazy Woo -hoo! and now the brakes and now here again this corner now it's important the suspension so right stable straight and then a long left and a long right and here a long right amazing it really feels so stable no no wobbly feeling like it's floating in the corner similar than it was when we updated marcy 390 oh my god man Ooh. what is the feeling amazing man it's something else i need to say uh, you can't compare it to the rc390 uh, because of the power because of the brake feel as i said under the helmet already of course it's a premium bike yeah, today we have some competition here. Definitely. and we are not alone finally so yeah the season is just starting and the corona is over so people are taking the bikes out and no, today I'm not alone, so I have some competition or motivation. How you take it? Yeah. Hey Dominic, I'm warmed up, so I would say for the last thing, as we said, let's try to beat the time if we can with the RC and let's see if the more powerful bike can be faster, which is logical, it can be, but maybe not on that track. So wait, 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 wait. Before we go, what's the bet? What's gonna be the time? So we have 51.16 three seconds three seconds faster okay i'm gonna say half a second 
but maybe we are both wrong so if we are both wrong and the RC is faster you and me we need to do both 20 push-ups I know you can't do 20 push-ups <laughs> okay let's see one sec I have a launch control actually so let's use that thing also okay three two one There is no time to speak here. Okay guys, I'm gonna focus no more. Fifth puff. Maribi section. I'm quite sure I was faster it felt faster and the thing is also I was practicing a lot with my RC390 in the past weeks so even because of that the time is faster so I learned some new skills for racing so I can lean more now and brake later and because of that but yeah the power is you can't really compare that's that's true when you pull out of the six section which is that one the last one when you pull out here the power really shows that you are just going way way faster okay let me see what dominic says <laughs> what three seconds no way three seconds faster what the heck how is this possible probably the power and launch control and the quick shifter you really feel that you're not losing any time while shifting you're just keeping it pinned and just switch the gear so that's a big plus point and yeah the whole bike feels so stable i'm happy i'm faster i have a new lap time so what do you think can we beat that time i think for one second you can do even it. more one second more oh my god okay let's do round two three two one ah shit <laughs> let's repeat that thing i don't know why it wheelie i think i forgot to switch on the anti-wheelie mode ah it's on it's on actually everything is on i don't know why i wheel it okay let's try once more three two one go yeah I'm not good at starting now, I need to learn how to do that launch control and stuff Okay, okay, now full throttle. I still close the throttle when I want to shift, damn it, eh? I need to really improve that and get used to the quick shifter. I'm losing time on that, but I don't know if this was quicker, so let's check. Okay, Dominic doesn't show any signs. There is no sign from you. What means that? Not faster? 48, 90. My problem is the start, the acceleration. I don't know how to use the launch control, even if it's just holding the throttle and let go of the clutch. So that's simple as that, but somehow I don't know how to do it. Awesome. Give me la one last try, guys. And I'm gonna push now really hard. Okay. Last try. I, that launch control. I'm gonna hold now the throttle all the time three two one go okay
Oh my god! That was focus 110%. Oh my god. I don't know how the MotoGP rider is doing it for one hour plus full focus. Respect, man. I again forget to hold the throttle and then release the clutch for the launch control. <laughs> so I think I, I lost some time here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. I have a feeling I'm faster. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Well, how faster? What are you smiling? You said like this, that's a good sign always. 47, but faster. I, really? Yeah. I fucked up again, sorry for my language, but I really fucked up again on the launch control. Which means holding full throttle and releasing the clutch, not opening it when you need to start. So I lost some time again there. But yeah, that bike is amazing. Come on. Oh. So what's the feeling? Does this say everything? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Man, we have a new lap record. I have a huge smile and it's amazing, amazing bike, amazing day. This is how you start the year. I'm, I'm gonna forget the last few months that happened because of the Corona. That's actually the beginning of the season. That's how it feels always when I start the season. It means new shows, new bikes. And let's say that this is a start of the season. Let's keep it this way uh 890 duke amazing it's exactly this what ktm promised and it's even more so i would say my top three features i would go suspension definitely amazing feeling in the corners not wobbly not anything just stable and you really feel the grip you really can trust the bike and lean in the corner then definitely the brakes it's the power of the brakes and the control and the feel amazing top notch and uh, the next thing it's hard to choose but i would say engine power the 120 horsepower is perfect and you the bike is really light and it has a lot of power so it's like the perfect power to weight ratio and just amazing uh, hard to explain but i hope i could tell you good information good feedback i, I hope you like the review and uh, yeah what to say of course we're gonna pimp that bike in the coming vlogs i have a lot of ideas what we're gonna do with it you can even make it more sharper than it's already is so we're gonna do definitely guys it's not the only news today i was lying the whole vlog i was really lying sorry but we have another big news. Are you ready? In three, two, one, boom! One new bike and a Super Duke. We have two new bikes and we're gonna show them in the next Rock On vlog. So see you then and until then, Rock On!